Well, like when issues. they had their convention in Colorado a week or whatever, the month the after NRA. Columbine. Yeah, that was just that was just stupid. Just don't do that. I mean, of course right. you have the right to, but what are you doing, you know? That's just upsetting a whole city full of people. Why would you do that? This is Matt Stone. He grew up in Littleton and has fond memories of Columbine. But yeah, Columbine is just like a you know, crappy school in the middle of a bunch of crappy houses. Matt and his friend Trey Parker found a way to take out their anger of being different in Littleton and turn it not into carnage, but into a cartoon. Just another Sunday morning in my quiet mountain town. You can see your breath hanging in the air. You see homeless people, but you just don't care. It's a sea of smiles in which we'd be glad to drown. It's Sunday morning in a quiet little white bread redneck mountain town. Columbine is a normal high school and yeah. a normal suburb, you know, yeah. basically. Painfully, painfully, painfully normal. Just absolutely, painfully, horribly average. You know, uh -huh. Littleton in general is. Um, I remember being in sixth grade, and I I had to take the, the, the math test to get into honors math in seventh grade. And they were like, don't screw this up, because if you screw this up, you won't get into honors math in seventh grade. And of course, if you don't get into honors math in seventh grade, you won't get into honors math in eighth grade, and then in not ninth grade, and then tenth grade, eleventh grade, and then you'll just die poor and lonely. And that's it, you know what I mean? It's like, it, you, I, I, you know, you believe in high school, and, the, you know, and a lot of it's kids, but the teachers and counselors and principals don't help things. They scare you into doing, into conforming and doing good in school by saying, if you're a loser now, you're gonna be a loser forever. So that with Eric and Dylan, right? Mm -hmm. You can call them fag. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know what? If I'm a fag now, I'm a fag forever. And you wish someone just could have <coughs> grabbed them and gone, dude, high school's not the end of a year and a half or a year, was it? I don't even know. Yeah. A no, year? No, you just a year. move out. No, no, they, they were two weeks, hair. they were weeks away from graduation. Yeah, you're done. You, you know, it's amazing how fast you lose touch with all those people. They just just beat it in your head as early as sixth grade. Right. Don't fuck up because if you do, you're going to die poor and lonely. You don't want to do that. You're like, well, fuck, you know, whatever I am now, I'm that forever. And, and what it, is, of course, it's completely opposite. All right, the dwarfs in high school go on to do great things, and all the really cool guys are all like living back in Littleton as insurance agents. It's completely, <laughs> it's almost person to person. It's, it's completely that way. And you just, yeah, if someone could have told them that, maybe they wouldn't have done it. But, yeah. I guess 